Morning, YouTube. Um, Leafs were in Winnipeg last night. I don't have all that much to say about this game because I was at uh, my buddy's house last night. We were, uh, we we're on an, a retro video game quest uh, that we've been on for the last number of years. And uh, last night I was over at his house. We were playing the original G.I. Joe game on the Nintendo Entertainment System. And, and uh, we thought we were going to finish it off last night. We're on the last level, but it proved to be a little more than we could handle in one night. It's, uh, it's, a, tough, it's a tough go. But uh, we made some good progress, and we think we're going to have it locked down next time. So, But that's neither here nor there. But uh, So I didn't get to see the game per se, but I did watch some of the highlights. I followed along on my phone as it was happening. Um, the Leafs went up 2 nothing after the first period. <clears throat> so things looked like uh, they were taking kind of the usual format of, of uh, the way things have been going lately. Scoring first, getting an early lead and uh, playing with a lead. Uh, the first goal was uh, some nice work. Uh, since Mikheyev went down, they called up a guy named Adam Brooks from the Marlies, and uh, he's played maybe two or three games now, I guess it's been. And uh, he's been used kind of sparingly um, to begin with, just to get uh, his feet wet, I think. But uh, last night he had a good game. It looked like he, on the first goal, he was, uh, the goalie was out playing the puck for Winnipeg, and he kind of hassled him and, and dug the puck loose. and and then threw it out front to Nylander, who spun and scored. And then uh, not long after that, <clears throat> again with some good forecheck, Kapanen was in alone by himself, um, pressuring a Winnipeg defenseman who coughed it up, and then he ripped a shot through the legs. And that was the first period right there, up to nothing, things looking good. Second period, Winnipeg stormed back with two goals in the first half of the period. Uh, so it was suddenly tied 2-2. Uh, but after that, the Leafs responded with two more. Uh, the first one was... Uh, kind of a scramble, uh, a bit of a bouncing scramble around the front of the Winnipeg crease, and then Dermott was finally able to bang it in. Um, again, another defenseman down low, uh, getting in on the offensive action. And then after that, it was Engvall, who just keeps getting better and better. Uh, just took a little pass right off the face off and ripped one high. And uh, so suddenly it was 4-2. So two goal lead restored, uh, but they say the two goal lead in hockey is the most dangerous one. Because you get compl at one a goal lead, you don't get complacent. But at a two goal lead, you get complacent enough to stop playing and and get caught caught up on right. So uh, Winnipeg would score another goal in the latter half of that period to make it four three. But then the Leafs would add another one uh, near the end of the period. I think it was I think that was Marner's goal, a power play goal. I think that's how it went. So then heading into the third, it was five three. And then uh, the only scoring in the third w was another Leafs goal uh, by Nylander that made it 6-3, and that's how the, the game would end. It, the Leafs got grossly outshot last night. It was like 48-28 or something like that. So everything else was relatively close, other than the hits, but I don't really count those anymore <laughs> uh, because that's not their game. But uh, face-offs were even, the power plays were similar, you know, block shots were similar. All, all the, the key stats were, were very close other than those shots. So I don't know if they just, uh, I didn't, wasn't able to see like possession time. So I don't know if they, it was one of those games where they possessed the puck a lot, but just didn't generate a lot of scoring chances. Sometimes because they're waiting for the perfect thing to happen or, or if they just got outplayed last night and, uh, but got lucky with their, their high-end skill. Um, uh, getting uh, getting the job done on the score sheet, so I'm not exactly sure what the the overall you know theme of the game was last night. But the main thing is they won, and I don't like the Jets, so it's always nice to beat them. And uh, yeah, they continue to just keep keep going, plugging along, and gaining points. And this is their easily their best stretch of hockey this year for sure, uh, but possibly in, in in a long time since maybe the beginning of last year. I don't know. Um, but they're looking good, and uh, they do have a few injuries. Marinson's been in on defense because Muzzin got hurt or something. I don't, I don't know when it happened, but he's been out a couple games now. And uh, I think New Jersey was the last game he's played in, and I didn't see anything happen to him in that game. And uh, and now he's on the shelf, so I'm not sure what happened, and I haven't really looked into it, so I don't know why he's hurt or how he got hurt. Um, but uh, yeah, so Marinson's been in for him, and then of course Brooks has been called up for. Uh, for Mikheyev, uh, who got his wrist cut a few games ago, so and I haven't heard much more on, on when he's expected to be back either. So, but they've got a number of guys out. They, I keep forgetting they have like Trevor Moore's uh, out. Janssen has been out for a while now. I haven't seen him around in a while. So, you know, if it's been the year of the injury for them, like on top of everything else with the 
coach firing and the lousy start and, and, and everything like that, they've this is easily their biggest injury year since this core of this team has been put together. So, um, but through it all, you know, the coach being fired, all these injuries, they've they've managed to uh, come together and, and actually get better and, and play better through all of this than they, they were at the start of the season. So that's encouraging and uh, possibly the sign of a really good team. So, um, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll see. Again, I can't wait to see what happens next game. So game at a time, right? We'll take it game by game. So uh, I'm assuming they play on Saturday. I haven't checked the schedule, but uh, either way, I will be back with my thoughts. And until then, enjoy Friday.